Hey everyone, Drew over here at Rev Hiker Outdoors, and uh, I wanted to bring you guys a short review. And kind of, this is my first test with this setup here. Um, and I've been kind of toying with the idea of going um, with a hammock instead of, you know, just traditionally being on the ground. Uh, and like I've said in some of my other videos, I've got some back issues, and I've heard that there is, there can be some relief with this. So what I've done here, and you saw in, in another video that I was sitting in this hammock, and this is uh, an Eagle's Nest Outfitters single nest. Um, there's a million reviews on them. I'm not going to do a full review. What I will tell you is that from trying it out and fooling around with it just a little bit, laying in it some, it is nice and solid. Um, it's not a piece of junk. It's, it's well made. What I'll probably end up doing is taking the carabiners off just to save some weight um, because frankly you don't need them you can just do it all with with the paracord that I rig it up with uh, and then what I have over it is my sea to summit um, nylon poncho tarp or tarp poncho however you want to say it but anyway um, I firmly believe in the uh, saying that you should test it before you trust it um, so that's what I'm doing today I just wanted to bring you guys like a first test and maybe show you how this could work for you um, now, the one thing that I would add to my setup here, if I thought the weather was going to be rainy, um, is right before here, I would add some, uh, you know, like right before the hammock actually starts, I would tie a piece of paracord and droop it down maybe a foot. Um, and that way, any water that ran off the tree and, and down the rigging would just hit that, it would soak in, and then it would drip off to the bottom, so you don't have anything running in after you. Um, that's one thing that I do know that, that is a good idea when, when you're doing hammock camping. Um, now this poncho tarp seems to me to be just big enough. Um, and being that it's a rectangular shape, it's a little, it's a little odd. Um, but I think it'll work. I think it would cover me. Um, now I've pitched this kind of high off of it, um, just as a test. If I was, um, if I was really going to be depending on this in a, in a weather situation where the weather's going to be bad, I would pitch it, I mean, as close down as I could, so it was kind of a pain in the butt to get in. Um, that way you're not going to have a ton of wind blowing in there and rain blowing in there. Um, but what I have done is, uh, you know, I pitch it so the sides are pretty steep, um, and the majority of it is in the back of me um, because that's kind of where the wind is coming from. And I know a lot of the heat loss when you're doing uh, hammock camping um, comes right, right through this. So what I've done is uh, I put, I don't know if you can read this, but this is a Thermarest Scout. I've had this thing for probably 15 years. It's the trail, or excuse me, it's a Thermarest Trail Short. Um, so it's the really, it's the short one. It's uh, like a, you know, two-thirds length or three-quarter length, depending, I guess, on how tall you are. Um, but anyway, I've got that in there, and that's going to be my, my insulation. I know a lot of guys use... Um, you know, like a, a blanket underneath or whatever, but I'm trying to keep this as light and tight as I can. Um, so I'm not gonna be packing those blankets or anything like that. Plus I just, uh, I have this and I think it'll work. Uh, I don't wanna go out and lay the lay down the money for something that I'm not sure if it's gonna work. So I'll definitely test this first. But uh, anyway, this is my pitch. I just, I strung a ridge line, maybe six inches above where I, I strung the line to hang this and uh, I got it fairly tight. I'm not. I'm not going crazy with it again. This is just uh, seeing how this works. Obviously, um, in an ideal situation, I would have picked trees that were about a foot or more farther apart than what I did, so I had a little more room to uh, stretch stretch this tarp out. Because as it is now, it's kind of on the sides of the trees because they were just slightly too close together. So I think one of the most important things when you're doing this is the site that you're using. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to try to climb in here um, and just show you kind of uh, how, it's, how it's working out for me. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's see. Don't want to get snow in there. Not too bad, guys. 
this is actually seems pretty comfortable and and as I'm looking up um, I'd say the only the only th maybe downside would be this right here um, and if I was gonna be in the weather I would uh, I would pitch this lower and maybe slightly out to the side a little more just to get a little better coverage now if the rain's coming straight down it's still gonna miss me by a foot but if I get any breeze this way, I could be looking at getting wet. But other than that, um, you know, I think this would definitely be a, a viable option. And uh, I'll definitely be trying it. Um, coming up here pretty soon, as soon as I can get some, some time to really get out and give it a proper two or three day test. Um, but I can feel uh, where this, where this uh, my thermarest is. I can feel where my feet are not on it. And I can feel the wind just just pulling uh, heat right away um, but where where my body is resting on it I have almost no heat loss um, so I, I think this will definitely work I'll just have to figure something out for my feet and usually uh, when it's cold I bring these knitted um, like slippers anyway that uh, just you know help insulate my feet because my feet are really the only thing that tend to get cold um, anyway this is kind of my so far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this uh, Eagle's Nest Outfitters, and uh, I guess um, I don't always use a hammock when I go camping, but when I do, it's an Eagle's Nest Outfitters. All right, guys, so I just wanted to uh, finish this review up um, just by giving my overall impressions. Um, overall, I think the, the quality on this is good. Um, it is a very thin material. I mean, as is, as is most, uh, as are most ultralight items. Um, so I would be careful. I wouldn't be making any fires really close to this. Number one, because of the tarp, and number two, because of this. I, they'll, they'll both uh, get holes melted in them pretty quick just because that's how nylon is. Um, <clears throat> these are rated for 400 pounds, uh, so I just kind of skim in the weight limit there. Uh, but anyway, I, I think it's a good quality product. I'm definitely looking forward to really getting a good field test review on it and uh, once I take it out and kind of beat it up and use it for a couple days I'll, I'll come back and I'll I'll do another video and just kind of update this one uh, and let you know uh, how it all really turned out but initial quality and uh, you know just using it for right now I think it's I think it's gonna be good and uh, as far as the Sea to Summit tarp I've used this um, I've slept in the dirt a bunch with that um, and it's it's good uh, I like it that's that's a good item um, only problem I've ever had with it was one time I didn't really pitch it optimally uh, and I did have some some water pooling on the top um, and some of it came in through the hood because I didn't seal it up enough so that was more user error than anything uh, but anyway uh, if you guys are looking to get into hammock camping uh, I would I mean for a starting point uh, this is about 50 bucks um, it's really not that bad and uh, it seems to be a good quality um, so anyway thanks for watching guys don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe so I just kind of plant this right where I want it there we go.